My name is Bankole Tue. This is a story of love without contact. Love by any means possible. Love in the time of Ebola. I was standing one morning in campus. I saw a girl dressed in red blouse, black shoes, plated with her natural hair, walking immaculately. Fortunately, she happens to be my classmate. It was a three-hour class, but to me, three hours was like 30 minutes. And at the end of the class, I sprang on my feet with no hesitation. I approached her and asked her about her name. She said, Christiana. We exchanged number, and she disappeared in the crowd. Her thoughts remained in my mind the whole of the afternoon. When I went home, I was the first to reach out. Have you reached home? She said yes. It was the peak of the Ebola crisis. People were dying. Sometimes people would send their hands for handshakes, but out of fear, others would restrain because they don't want to fall victim. There was no trust. So occasionally we agreed that we're going to break the barrier of communication. When we see we're going to hug or peck or even kiss. But as we set eyes on each other, no one would venture. We we'll disperse again and go home. But as time goes on, we become more emotionally connected. And at night, when we talk on the phone, I stretch my hand as if her head is on my shoulder, feel a breath on my chest, and imagine we are hugging. Six months, 18 days, and eight hours is the time we spend WhatsApping, texting. All throughout this period, our relationship was just purely on phone. We at times talk about imaginary things. Where will you want to go on Sunday? As if we will ever go there, but we didn't. But we just talk about it. Ah, what food do you like? Say, I like this. How will I get it to you? I said, like, WhatsApp it for me. I said, OK. I was resilient till the end, and towards the end. As the 42 days, Ebola countdown was declared by the government. For Sierra Leone to be declared Ebola free, I wasn't counting with others for the end of Ebola, but I was counting with immense hope of meeting Christiana. We fixed an appointment to meet. So when I went there 15 minutes earlier, somebody tapped me on, the back, on my shoulder. And when I turned fully, she was wearing the same dress, and I saw her on the first day. I stared at her for some moment and finally stood up. We hugged each other for so long. Over five minutes, we were hugging. We start inhaling deeply, rubbing our hands behind our backs, and then finally kissed. It was like continue from the last page. I was my day. I was it like she was like, can I pass the night to you? I said, well, it will be fun. We spent almost half of the night hanging around, uh, whilst the shouting, blaring of horns, Okada running there and here, shouting, Ebola don don, Ebola don don. We drank to the end of Ebola. We drank to a new relationship. And then we drank to never again lose the moments of the physical interaction in our relationship. And we talk about the hug that it's a moment that will remain in our hearts forever. Probably the most amazing moment in our relationship. The feeling is hard to explain. I 
felt from my head to my toe like something was in me and uh, I was shivering, was gasping for air. Yeah, it was so intense, like we are set free. <laughs> 